Assimilation of Native Americans went on from 1857 to 1920 to reform Native Americans when United States citizens complained about living close to Native Americans and their different ways. I am a nurse here at the Toma VA and when I started um, I was over at Human Resources and there was a woman sitting there with me and she was leaving. She was actually retiring from her position. She had been here many years and she had told me that um, about the, a little bit about the history and, and that this, this had been an Indian school um, at one time and that her parents were actually brought here. I believe it was her father and her mother was um, located at another school. But, you know, she talked about the heartache that her um, family had gone through and what the stories that she had been told about how they were so abruptly taken from um, their parents and brought here really against their will. And what it was told to me was that they felt that by bringing them here, you know, they had less chance to escape and um, to go back to their, their tribe. And they also wanted to civilize them so that they just learned, um, you know, our values, the white man, as, as, they, as she said, as she put it, the white man's values. And so um, they were brought here and they were punished a little bit if they were not talking in English, if they tried to speak their own language. Um, so, um, but what my belief was, what she had said was that they, once they got back to their home, to their tribe, they, you know, just really went back to a lot of their culture and um, just um, went back to their heritage and, and just tried to forget everything that they had learned. The Dawes Act was adopted in 1887, authorizing the United States to survey excess native tribal land and divide it into individual lands. Those who lived on separate lands were granted a United States citizenship and a form of compensation, usually being money. The Toma Indian Industrial School was intended to teach Indian children how to shed their cultural background and to become more like white middle-class Americans. Usually funded by the federal government, Indian boarding schools were established throughout the United States in an attempt to acculturate Indians to American ways of thinking and living. The boys were brought here and they were um, carpenters and, and they were taught to be farmers and it was a, a co there was co-education here at the school and the girls were were taught to do domestic chores you know such as sweeping and um, cleaning and cooking and those types of things and they also received education um, part of the day and then they worked part of the day. Should the families of the people who were affected by this be compensated in some way? Yeah I think because all we essentially gave them was an apology for taking in children, abusing them, making them assimilate to the standards we wanted. How to compensate them, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like we should find some way to give them more than just an apology. And what do you feel should be done with the old boarding school here in Toma? I think we should turn into a memorial to teach more people about what we did at the boarding schools. I think that it could really educate and stop something like that from happening again which I don't think would happen to that degree, but just as a precaution, it's almost good to create a memorial, educate people who might not know as much about boarding schools and how we treated the people at those boarding schools. The Curtis Act of 1898 allowed the Dawes Act to affect five major tribes by abolishing their governments and selling excess land. Over 90 million acres of land were sold to non-natives. Should the families of the people who are affected by this be compensated in some way? Yes, I do think the families need to be compensated more than what they are right now. And I feel like that old building should not just be wasted and renovated into something new, but we need to remember the Native American culture and remember the families that went there and what we did. And I think creating it, turning it into a memorial or some type of building such as that is going to help us to show respect to that culture and also prevent things like that from happening again.